Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, today is BoxyCharm unboxing day. Yeah, I know I didn't do a BoxyCharm last month. I was sick. I was not well. And frankly, both of those boxes sucked. I get both BoxyCharm, the base box, and I get the Boxy Premium. And I also subscribe to Lux. So this happens to be in Lux month. And I'm going to be completely honest, the last two months, so both um, March and April, no, April and May. April and May both sucked and were not worth, were not worth the money. So that was money gone. Bye bye. Uh, anyways, today is a boxy Lux. It is June, so I have this big, huge boxy Lux box in front of me. I'm going to go ahead and unbox that to do today. Um, if you're new here, hi, thanks so much for joining me. I'm Annie. I am a 40 something lover of color who believes that you can wear color at any age and you shouldn't be afraid of, of color no matter your age. So if that sounds interesting, um, then I'm glad you're here and I hope you stick around. So let's go ahead and ju just dive right into it, to this. Normally what I do is I go through last month's box and talk about all the products I received um, and whether it was worth it or not. And honestly, I don't even remember what I got last month. I wasn't even feeling well and I didn't receive any cards in my boxes so I can't even go back to check. So let's just call that a wash and just say they were terrible and they were not worth the money. Hopefully Boxy Lux will be worth the money. So the way Boxy Lux works is it is a quarterly box. Normally Boxy Charm is $25 a month uh, and you get five full size products to try out out and see whether you like it. Boxy Lux happens uh, every four months and you pay an extra $25. So you pay $50 and you're supposed to get over $200 worth of products to try out and hopefully they're good. Now this box has been opened already because um, apparently I was upstairs when it happened but my husband was downstairs and we had the door open and the mailman just literally chucked the box from halfway up the walkway onto my front porch. And there's an eyeshadow palette in here. Yeah, mm, good times. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Now, I will say I feel like had BoxyCharm packaged things a little bit better this month, maybe that wouldn't have happened. Usually they use foam, um, but this month, oh, there goes the card. This month they just use paper. And I think that that is part of why um, well, throw a box, something's going to break, but maybe if it was in foam, it wouldn't have broken. I'm going to put it down. It's super heavy. Here is the card. This month's theme is BoxyCharm, the Oasis. And let's just go ahead and take out some of this paper and talk about the first thing. So the first thing, like I said, is an eyeshadow palette. I believe every single BoxyCharm, BoxyLux member got this. This is the TARDIS Pro Amazonian Clay palette. It is, let's see, what is this? It retails for $49. I believe it's been on sale an awful lot. Now this is a neutral palette. And we all know that around here, I am not a neutral loving girl. This is probably about as neutral as I go. Oh, if you're interested in seeing this eye look, this is part of my two looks with one palette using the Melt Cosmetic Impulsive palette. Um, I did just finish filming that, um, but I chucked a little bit of, um, multi-chrome flakes on the top of it because, well, because. Um, so that should be up. It's not up yet, but it will be up soon. So if you're interested in seeing how I did this, um, it, it, it will be showing up soon. All right, so when you take it out, you can clearly see that I've got shadow all over the palette. And it does come with some ideas of how you might want to do your eyeshadow. I don't know, I guess if you're new to eyeshadow or whatever, that could be helpful. Um, I do like the packaging. It's, it goes along with their other pro kind of packaging other than having white shadow smashed all over it. I'm going to have to be careful. It does have that lovely chocolate cocoa smell, um, but I mean, this shadow here, uh, which is the shade Vintage, <laughs> Vintage. Vintage, which is this shade right here, has been smashed two bits. It's a disaster. So that's unfortunate because it looks like a really pretty, mm, yeah, pretty shade. So I'm going to have to try to smush that back in. Let's see. I'll do that now. 
it's never going to be the same. It's unattractive and ugly and a mess now. And I think I just made it worse. There we go. It is quite pigmented and lovely though. Let's just kind of swatch it here on my hand. Oh yeah, that's nice. See, that makes me sad because that's actually a pretty nice white shadow. Um, we'll have to see if I can fix that. This is not typically my color story, but there are some pretty shades in here. I think I can actually use this one. And since it's broken, I couldn't put this in a giveaway or anything anyways. So I am gonna hold on to this and I will try to do, um, you know, at least one look with this in the coming days and we'll see how it goes. It's mostly mattes. There are four shimmers over here on the edge, these round shadows here. Um, and then the rest are all mattes. So like I said, this retails for $49. I'm going to set that carefully aside and then I'm gonna hopefully try to repress that white shadow. We'll see how I do, I kinda suck at that. All right, have a drink here. I've had a headache for days, so I'm just trying to push through. Next up, let's see. All right, so I have some more brushes. BoxyCharm has been giving me lots of brushes. These are the Billion Dollar Brows Charcoal Five Piece Brush, brush Set. Let's see, it says, these vegan, cruelty-free, and synthetic brushes are charcoal-infused for an antimicrobial effect, allowing for flawless makeup and eyeshadow application. These retail for $55. Let's go ahead and open these up and see what we have. So it looks like we have a kind of, um, oh, there's a lot of plastic there. This is like an angled brush. What are they calling this one? They are calling this the contour. I could have just read it on the brush handle. The contour brush. So, I mean, it's soft. It might work for contour. I don't know. Right now, I've been kind of actually really loving this brush from Olimar Cosmetics um, that we got from BoxyCharm, and I actually really love this one. So, I don't know. I guess we could try this one. It's it's kind of soft. It's not the softest brush I've ever felt on my face, um, but it's, I don't know, it's okay. We'll, we'll give it a shot and see how it goes. Uh, then there's also this brush here. This is the, wait, this is also the contour brush. I got two of the same brushes. This is supposed to be a powder brush. Yay, I guess I'm gonna, contact BoxyCharm after all. I wasn't going to, but now I feel like I have to. Uh, next up, I have the concealer brush. So it's just like, you know, a flat synthetic brush. It's fine. Um, I don't use a brush for my concealer. I might use it on my eye, although it's kind of big. Um, but I guess if I'm laying down concealer, not wanting to do a, do a gut crease, that could work. Uh, then the next one I have is the eyeshadow brush. So it's just kind of a semi-densely packed um, brush. This would be this will be good for using here in the outer corner. That's what I like to use these kind of brushes for. And last but not least, we have a highlighter brush. It's just a small, fairly densely packed brush, not super fluffy. Um, this might actually work better as a uh, shadow brush. I don't know. We'll see. Try it both ways. So I guess I'm contacting Boxy about my brushes and my broken palette. That's nice. Um, next in the box, did I say? Oh yeah, I did. Those retailed for $55. All right. So next I have more skincare because they think I'm old and need all the skincare care. This is the Pure, Pure Heels Propolis 80 Sleeping Mask. An enriched sleeping mask provides full nourishment and glowing skin to tire... Oh. Okay, that's not a typo. I don't know. An enriched sleeping mask providing full nourishment and glowing skin to tired skin while sleeping. The propolis extract forms a water oil protective barrier that soothes irritated sensitive skin. It retails for $55. I don't know. We got something from Pure Heels last month and it's, it was like a serum. I've been using it, but I don't think it's great. Um, already there's something on my box here that's disgusting. Um, 
it does come with a spatula and yeah it is got disgustingness happening here that's that's delightful it smells okay um, but again I guess it's got a seal on it so it just kind of leaked out through the seal you can kind of see it's all over the place and um, yeah I don't know maybe that's an after effect of being thrown this is kind of what it looks like let's see it's got a very like medicinal smell to it um, I, I don't know I don't know you guys I don't know I'm not sure if I'm going to be trying that or not or yet again letting Boxy know my stuff is wrecked. I do appreciate that they put a spatula in there though so that's nice. All right next thing on the list is something that I'm really not that excited about because I'm not a huge Kylie Jenner fan. This is the Kylie Skin by Kylie Jenner Foaming Face Wash. Our luxurious foaming face wash is infused with ultra nourishing kiwi seed oil packed with vitamin C and E to help maintain moisture and improve elasticity. This gentle formula cleanses skin by helping to remove dirt, oil, and makeup for a fresh, bright complexion. Retails for $24 go ahead and open up this packaging and hopefully it's not a disaster. All right, this is not a disaster. So even though I'm not a huge, you know, Kylie Jenner skin and I said I would never ever purchase any of their her stuff, I will try this. I do like to try out different facial cleansers. So we'll see how this goes. I will um, report back to you. So I guess I'm okay with this. So far, I'm not enthused about this box, clearly. Um, the eyeshadow palette is okay, but it's a neutral thing and I am not a neutral. So next up is the Pure Lace Perfect Glow BB Cream SPF 30. This is a complexion perfection for a gorgeous matte meets dewy finish. Your multitasking beauty balm glides on like a tinted moisturizer with all of the age-defying coverage and sunscreen benefits of a foundation and BB cream. This retails for $35 and I got mine in the shade light, which is a good thing. It's sealed, yay. And let's just kind of see what Oh, I think that's actually going to be a good match for me. Um, you probably can't even see it on my hand. Um, it may be a little bit pink, but I think I can make it work. I do have a foundation that's a little bit pink. Um, so yeah, I that one, I, I'm okay. I'm, I'm interested in trying this out and seeing how that goes. So I think what I'll do is I'll do like a video using the eyeshadow palette and this, maybe the brushes, I don't know. Um, okay, let's see what else have we got here. We have the Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara. Yay, another mascara! Woohoo! An extra lengthening, extra volumizing, extra bold mascara with a tapered dual fiber wand that defines and coats each and every lash with an ultra black, velvety, smooth formula. This retails for $24. I have enough mascara to like. I don't know, drown in. So let's go ahead and pull this out. The packaging is really kind of cute. I will give it that for sure. Let's open this up and look at the brush. All right, I do like these kind of brushes as opposed to the rubber brushes. I feel like they kind of just get my lashes a little bit better. So maybe I'll use this in that video as well. Okay, I have two things left. Uh, let's go with these. This is the Bodyography um, Lip Pencil Set. Pouty and Rosewood. Antioxidant lip pencils that glide on like your favorite lipstick and with precise pigment rich color to frame, fill in, and define lips enriched with coconut oil and vitamin E. These retail for $28. Um, if these are nice and like, what's the word I'm looking for? Creamy, then I will be happy. Oftentimes we get, you know, those, what is that one company they like to send, that Jaunta Blue that's terrible. All right, this is the shade Pouty. So it's just your basic, you know, wooden pencil. Um, oh yeah, that's actually going on quite well. That's a pretty color. 
I do like that. Oh my gosh. Except my lids just are falling right off. And so then this is the shade Rosewood. It is a darker kind of shade, more vampy. Oh, I have some lipsticks that'll look really nice with that. So those are the two shades, Pouty and Rosewood. So oh yeah, I'm I'm excited about those. Yay. Um one thing that I might like. And then the last thing is a lifestyle thing. And this was my choice for the month. This is the Swell. Um, what is the exact thing? Swell stainless steel bottle. It's a 17 ounce bottle. Uh, the Swell bottle features triple layered vacuum insulated construction designed to keep beverages cold for up to 24 hours and hot for up to 12. Made from 18.8 food grade stainless steel with superior construction that allows for refilling and reusing easily to reduce the need for single use plastic water bottles. Hand wash only for $35. Okay, first of all, the packaging is really cute. I do like, I do like that. Um, let's pull this out. Oh, and it's quite pretty. So here's what it looks like. And I, I do like it. I think it's, it's very pretty. I'm always I always love to have water bottles around, especially, um, you know, stainless steel ones that will keep my drink cold. So that makes me happy. It is nice and sturdy. I feel like it will hold up if I drop it on the ground. Let's, let's face it, I drop things on the ground all the time. So yeah, I am happy about this. Did I say what this retails for? This retails for $35. Um, so it's always nice not to have to pay for a water bottle. I have like a knockoff Hydro Flask because I will not pay that like $50 for a Hydro Flask and this does just, just fine. This is massive though. So it's nice to have something a little bit smaller like when you go for a walk or something instead of this big massive, big massive chunker here. So yeah, I'm happy to have this. So let's go ahead and add up everything that I got. Let me pull out my phone. And let me pull up the calculator because I cannot do the maths. Okay, so we're going to start with the Kylie Skin. The Kylie Skin retails for $24. Uh, the next thing we have is the BB Cream, which retailed for $35. At least I don't feel like any of these prices are inflated. Sometimes Boxy does us dirty that way and they say oh this is worth you know $155 when it's really not. Uh, next thing I have was the mascara which is $24. The next thing is my poor broken Amazon clay palette. This is just the box. I don't want to hold up the palette. Uh, that retails for $49 although I'm pretty sure you can get that on sale these days. The next thing of course was my swell bottle which retails for $35. And then my brush set, which is not right. It's not complete. I have one of those extra contour brushes and not a powder brush. That retails for $55. Okay, I'm going to say that's an inflated price. I wouldn't pay $55 for these brushes. These remind me of uh, brushes that you can pick up from... Um, BH Cosmetics. In fact, I'm not even sure that they're going to be as good as BH Cosmetics brushes. Just saying. Uh, so $55 for those. My Exploded Pure Heels Sleeping Mask that does lots of things for your face also retails for $55. And then my Lip Pencil Duo. Those retail for $28. So my grand total is $305. I say you could probably knock about $20 off of that uh, because I don't think those brushes are worth $55. In fact, I would say probably knock off $25 off of that. Um, but yeah, that is my boxy lux for the month of June. That is everything. You can tell maybe I'm not the most excited about this. I have got to take some pictures and email BoxyCharm with all of the, the madness that has happened here. And uh, that is the end. Like I said, I will go ahead and do a video using some of these things. Um, so definitely I'll use my pore palette and the mascara and the lip liners, at least one of them. And I'll try to use these brushes. We'll see how that goes. 
And yeah, I think that's it for today. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to hit that like button down below. And while you're there, just scooch on over, hit subscribe. And uh, next to subscribe, there's a little bell. If you hit that bell, you'll be notified of all of my uploads. I don't quite have a schedule yet. I'm working on it. I'm getting there, but I am doing better on my uploads. So you will see more of me here on YouTube. And if you would like to see more of me outside of YouTube, you can find me at on Instagram at seemybliss underscore beauty. And I think that does it for today's video. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.